Okay, so this is the um, part here. One of the things I fixed on this is the triple reed harmonium. Is this part right here? It's not. It just needed some of the wood shaved off that little ledge so that it stays in better. And um, carefully pull this out. As you can see, some of the um, some of the reeds are vertically, and then even on this middle bank here. Um, see if I can pull this out here. This middle bank there. That's why you hear a different. That's why you hear a different change in the sound. With these reeds, when you hear a certain key, it'll sound brighter because it's mounted differently. Um, this also makes it a little bit harder to get to because those screws back there, which only need to be loosened, um, you need an offset screwdriver, which I don't have right now. Um, so there's one key over here, a C, that's not sounding, but um, I've tried pushing it up or down, that's not doing it, so there must be some sort of obstruction or something like that in the key. Um, otherwise this first top row there you see is the main set the middle one there is the high set of reeds and then the, the bottom set is the lower is the very base set of reeds which is actually the base set is actually the second stop that you pull out um, if you look down here you see I put little strips of veneer glue there because there was a gap there on some of them there was a gap on some of them that was preventing some of those drones from sounding. Um, and see those little circular things? Those are the actual stops themselves. <laughs> One of the things with this particular harmonium is you actually do need to give it a lot of air. Um, those are sm very small holes, usually. Plus, this is also a, a wider harmonium than normal because it's a scale changer and it actually has a lot of keys for the scale changer um, so it's just a strange configuration usually there'd be a, a bigger chamber width wise for each reed chamber um, well, so that's the tremolo there when I first checked it it was kind of stuck to the bottom just from the lacquer uh, just because this is brand new um, so I pulled that loose, but that's that's the fourth stop that you would use to open, and you'd make sure this other stop with the same chamber, that's the base chamber, is closed to use that tremolo. But those tremolos never really work well. Um, they never work consistently. I don't know why they still put them on there. Um, this is one of the things here fixed. Um, One of the screws that popped out was missing, it was too small, so I replaced it with the proper size one and redrilled the holes so it's nice and tight. Um, so, the hinge on this, on the bottom, had cracked, and uh, so I super glued it with some thick, some medium viscosity super glue you get at the hobby store, and then clamped it, and it works fine. Um, what else did I do? It's brand new, so there wasn't really too much to do with it. Um, these are the lockdowns. Like I said, this is the side that was that wanted to pop loose because it wasn't um, a little bit extra was. So now it fits nice and snug, and it doesn't want to pop out. Um, this particular key design is different. This is not your typical pallet uh, design. Um, what's underneath here under these these keys here is actually a little pin like a nail sticking across this little slot there and then it just gets sh it gets shoved down into the, the wood there so you don't want to keep popping this back off and out because then it's gonna make that little slot there um, bigger to make the key pop out now this key here that's the other set of reeds the main set of reeds it's actually a mechanism where it kind of sandwiches this one here and there's also a separate wooden um, 
coupler system in there that's uh, that also makes it hard to get to. So I pulled the keys out. Check it. Um, one of the problems this had, like this is brand new, uh, was even here. Um, these keys were sticking, so I filed and sanded the sides of them. I still left a little bit of contact there just so they could kind of wear in. I didn't want to make too much of a gap, but um, those these keys here were sticking, uh, so that's fixed. Uh, this is the coupler mechanism. Leave it in for the coupler to be on. Pull it all the way out. Feels like it's two stages, but it's actually just pull it all the way out. Um, this is the scale changer here. Um, four stops. These are the drone notes in between there. Uh, this first stop is the main set of reeds. Second one is the base set. And third one is the high set. And you need to have the base set out, base pull out, in order for these drone notes, these other smaller notes. And like most drone notes, they're quieter than the rest of the keys because they're kind of buried in there. So they're a little bit quieter than uh, the other keys, which are kind of facing up, and you get that sound coming out. Okay, since this is a triple reed harmonium, it's also just much bigger physically. Um, the bellows itself, the width of it, is about the normal width of it. It's just a little bit longer. So what I found is that this just needs a lot more air because it, the, I showed you the reed, the, uh, reed chamber design is, is kind of skinny, thin. This, the internal bellows is much bigger and wider than this is. So the pumping style has to be much more, definitely let the bellows come all the way out when you're playing it and it's just going to need more air. So I'm going to pay, play through the different reed sets without the coupler on. And same thing when you I, pu I pulled out the uh, coupler to turn it off. Uh, because of the scale changer, you can't push the keys down as far as, as, as a regular harmonium. And um, you don't want to press too hard, otherwise it'll see it'll still activate the coupler. So if you press the normal length. override that coupler turning off the coupler if you press hard enough so you don't want to do that this is just with the high and the low I mean without the bass reads on without the coupler on certain note when you come up up through here right about it here you're gonna hear that bass note kick in because that's where the coupler's starting so don't be surprised if the sound changes There's, you suddenly hear a bass kick in that's because the coupler starts right about here um, same thing with the higher notes sometimes the higher notes sound clearer I showed you with the reed uh, bank how the reeds went from being vertical to being flat so the flat ones gonna sound brighter and clearer than the ones that are facing away from you um, but this is, as long as you give it enough air, you got a really nice sound to it. And you got to let the bellows, let this bellows expand completely um, in order to get that sound. 